Hey guys, so today is going to be probably my most personal video that I've ever filmed and I know that you guys know that I'm not afraid to get personal with you guys and I like to share everything with you guys and I feel like YouTube is one of those places where I kind of feel safe and I know that might sound kind of strange because I'm talking to a ton of random people and my friends and my family members don't even know any of this stuff that I might be saying in this video but I feel like I wanted to film this video for so long and I feel like I'm finally ready to just share with you guys my story and I'm having I'm having I'm having an anxiety attack right now just like thinking about what I'm gonna say and I don't even really know what I'm gonna say but I feel like I really owe this video to you guys and to people out there because I don't know I think I'm just I don't even know but anyways I need to calm down but this video is going to be about how my life was saved so before I get started with this video I'm going to warn you it's going to be extremely personal I didn't plan on what I was going to say I'm just gonna have it come straight out from the heart and whatever but I just want you guys to keep your like comments to yourself like rude comments because this is really hard for me to share with you guys but you know I think I'm ready and I just love talking to you guys because whether you know it or not YouTube was the one was one of the main things that really helped me throughout these past years and I'm just really really grateful and I just want to thank you guys so much so I guess I should just get started so basically right from the beginning I think it was at the end of sophomore year I felt completely alone that's kind of when my depression started and I really had no friends I had I've always kind of had this thing where I, I would make I'd become really close with like a few friends and then there would be like a fallout and then it would just be miserable and then I would kind of end up being like alone and you know I never really had a ton of friends like I wasn't one of those people to hang out with like a huge group of people and then like I don't know I was always just ever since I was little I was always close to like two people and it was kind of like a repeating thing so at that point I was kind of at my breaking point at the end of sophomore year when I had lost these two friends because I felt like oh my gosh this always happens to me why does this always happen like my best friends why am I always just so left so alone at the end and this was a time where I was just I couldn't handle it anymore because it had happened so many times and I didn't know I kind of always blame myself like what's wrong with me like I'm such a terrible person and so I ended up being so alone I didn't have a lot of friends I mean school was difficult with teachers and stuff and I mean people weren't intentionally like mean to me but they would say funny things because I would always like joke around and I would kind of always hide my feelings so I would always kind of come off as this really happy girl but inside I was just breaking and I just wanted everything to end you know like I just felt like I was worthless I just felt so just I didn't even feel like myself you know like I used to be like this happy girl and now I'm like this miserable girl with no one and so at the end of sophomore year I came across some YouTube videos and I saw that people made friends on YouTube and I was like oh my gosh since I don't have like these friends anymore maybe YouTube is my big chance to make friends and I had always kind of been interested in YouTube videos I'd always make YouTube videos with my friends and it was kind of like I always believe in signs and so every time something went wrong it kind of always led me back to YouTube and so I was like you know what? I'm gonna take the first step and create my own channel so that's exactly what I did and you know I made some friends right off the bat and it was just amazing and you know kind of even though I was still depressed and felt super alone um, out like at home I had this place where it was kind of just like my own separate world where I had all these like amazing friends and had fun and I could talk to and I had support and so that was just an amazing thing and so I started getting to the po point where it was kind of like YouTube was one of the greatest things that happened to me but also one of the worst because although I had this amazing thing going on with YouTube it made me even more insecure at school because I didn't want someone to find out and kind of make fun of me about it because I would hear stories about how people's channels would come like would like open up like like get out there and then people would like push them into lockers and stuff and I was like 
oh my gosh, like I'm already so alone and I don't really feel like I have a lot of people to talk to at home, like I don't want someone to find out. And so YouTube kind of became this thing where I was kind of ashamed of myself doing it. I wasn't ashamed of YouTube itself and like the whole community. I was just kind of ashamed of myself because I'm like, oh my god, what are people going to think of me? So I got to the point where I had so much anxiety and so much depression about YouTube and other people I had, like that's kind of how my social anxiety began. Not gonna even lie. YouTube caused my social anxiety. So I was afraid to walk in the halls because I didn't want someone to be like, oh my gosh, Danny, you do YouTube videos and stuff. And I was just like, oh my gosh. So, I mean, there was a lot of other things going on, but YouTube was one of the main reasons why I actually started doing online school. I mean, I was getting bullied by some teachers. Like, I had problems with teachers and some classmates. And that was also one of the main, major factors of me leaving high school, but YouTube was one of the main reasons why I left. And I didn't tell, I haven't told anyone that, except for my mom, but YouTube was one of the biggest reasons why I left. So YouTube was a cause of some of my major depression. But once I got to doing online school, I became happy again because I had my YouTube friends. I would do like iChat or Skype and talking to all my YouTube friends and it was just like a really fun thing. So even though, like I said, I was still depressed, but I still had like this piece of me that was like super happy. And so I thought I was getting better and everything was gonna go good, but then I started gaining a lot of weight um, when I was on online school because I was at home all the time so I was just constantly eating. So I ended up eating so much and I actually gained about 30 pounds after I left school to the point where I never even left my house. I started breaking out because of all the grease that I was eating and there was actually a time where I barely even filmed videos because I was, a, I was embarrassed of my appearance and stuff so even though YouTube was kind of like a roller coaster. It made me happy, then it made me sad, and then I ended up becoming really insecure because people on YouTube started talking about noticing that I was getting weight, and no one called me fat or anything. They're like, wow, I really like how you're not stick skinny from all those people. And so that really hit me like, oh my gosh, like I am gaining a lot of weight. And so this is going to be really difficult to say, but I got super depressed. And I actually started making myself throw up because I just couldn't take the fact that I was eating a lot and it was starting to make me sick. And during that time, I didn't do it very long. I just did it for, I think, a week. But I'm actually a very, very strong person. And when I was doing it, I was just like, oh my gosh, like, I am hurting myself even more doing this. I'm, like, torturing myself. So I had talked to friends about it. I think I was still in school when I was doing that and they were like, oh my gosh, Danny, you should not be doing that. So that just made me even worse. So I did end up stopping that and kind of just didn't really care anymore and I just was like, okay, whatever. Like, I shouldn't be doing this. This is not the road I want to go down. I don't want to end up having like a like eating disorder problem like on top of my anxiety and my depression and I was like this you know I don't want to hurt myself so that was one of the biggest things that really like made me feel like wow I really am strong and I really can get through this you know like I was able to stop myself before it got out of hand and so once I stopped that, I started, I needed something to make me happy, you know. YouTube was making me happy, but I needed something else. So I decided to start doing music. And, you know, I had quit music for a long time because a lot of people, like, I wanted to be, like, a singer my whole life. And people would be like, you know, Danny, you need, like, a reality check that's never going to happen to you. Justin Bieber was one of the main reasons. He totally helped me through all of this because he kind of made me see that, you know what, following your dreams is something that you really need to do. You need to put yourself out there. So Justin Bieber inspired me to make my own singing channel and I'm going to admit my first singing channel was so bad like my voice like I have all those videos blocked I even made a whole new channel singing channel because I just needed to start fresh because it was so embarrassing but you know what I was determined to become happy and follow a dream that I'd always wanted so you know what that made me happy and 
so I bought some speakers. I got speakers for Christmas. I bought a microphone and I started to record. And like that was something that was really helpful. And music was one of the things that really helped me kind of not focus so much on my weight, but focus on, you know, something that I really wanted to do and could see myself doing in the future. And, you know, I believe in signs. And once I started doing this, I actually got an email from X Factor, like, it was like asking me to audition and so I was like oh my gosh so maybe this is a sign that I am good enough and I should really focus a lot on singing so with that being said I did audition for X Factor online but I was just I still didn't feel like I was good enough you know I hadn't practiced a lot and you know I see all these people and I'm one to like compare myself to so many people so I did it I did the audition online and I just I didn't do my best and I did end up getting on like a list to audition for the show but I ended up just not doing it because I'm like this isn't my time and so that did make me happy though because it did give me a little bit of like it gave me a reason to keep going with music and so that made me really happy and so then after that whole music thing that is when I decided to like visit some of my friends from YouTube and so all these things were kind of coming together I was in online school but I was like happy and like things were kind of getting better for me so I went to California to meet up with some of my friends that I made off YouTube and you know it was the best time ever like I was so happy they made me so happy and I was just like so thankful that you know I had found YouTube and I was able to make these friends because you know these were some of my best friends and we had the most amazing times together we went to some parties and I met some other really amazing youtubers you know we went to Disneyland ate churros had cotton candy and it was just super super fun and you know these were my best friends I knew for a fact they were gonna be my best friends till the very end and I was super happy but once again it was kind of that thing where I didn't like having a huge group of friends I was just really close to like a few of them and you know it was super super fun I would go visit them in California all the time and you know I was just extremely happy but then when I came home I was just like super depressed because you know you guys know that throughout YouTube I really wanted to move to California and even my friends they didn't know that when I came home, like, I was a totally different person in California than I was in Washington, you know? I was super depressed. I was, like, I would cry every night because I missed them so much, you know? I just loved California, and I loved having that feeling that I had friends that were always there for me, that were always standing up for me, that would always text me asking me if I was okay. You know, they knew a little bit of my story, but I wasn't someone to just kind of, like, make you feel bad for me or whatever. Like, I wasn't going to tell them everything, so I just kind of wanted to be, like, this happy Danny that everyone knew. But no one could have realized that I was some really unhappy girl because, you know, when I was with them, I was just a totally different person. I was the Danny that I had missed and loved, but I had lost. So, going to California, I found myself, you know, again, and I was just the hyper Danny that everyone really missed, and I missed, and... I think it was last year, 2013, that was when things started to get really rough and that was probably one of my darkest years and although I was being so strong for so long with everything going on in my life, you know, you guys know through videos I was just, there was a lot going on and I had been so strong, like I don't know if, you know, people go through worse things than me but I've had to stay strong pretty much my whole life if you've seen my Draw My Life video and no one even knew about that. Like anyone who knew me like at school I never talked about it. So YouTube was a place like I said that I could just come to and talk to and you know not even these friends in California knew what was going on in my life and you know I think once I let out that Draw My Life video a lot of people were kind of like wow I can't believe you could bring your family down like that because you know my friends grew to love my family and everything and they didn't know this side so when they kind of saw that video they were like oh my gosh like how could you do that like your family is so amazing and you know what my family is amazing and I love my family and I'm so proud of my family but that was something that I did really want to share and 
you know, through my depression I've learned to speak up and speak out and that was just something that I just felt that I really needed to get out of my chest because it had been like holding me like it just was kind of something that was tearing me apart not being able to talk about it. and it was something that helped me but you know in the beginning of 2013 is when I really started to change and go downhill and it was a place where no one had re really saw this side of Danny because you know everyone was like oh Danny's so happy and stuff and so my friends since we we were like best friends they really did see that something was different and I don't think they liked the person that they were seeing because they had never seen it and they weren't really they didn't really know what was going on and you know I feel terrible because I would never really opened up that way and you know I got into a pretty big fight with these people and it really broke me and I'm not saying that it was their fault because it wasn't you know I was different and I didn't explain why what was going on in my life and I kind of just took everything that they were saying to me like you know what okay so I felt like a terrible person and I was just losing my best friends that I thought were gonna be there forever and you know I like if they're watching this video I don't want them to like get mad at me for saying these things because it's not their fault like they were the best friends that I could have ever asked for and they made me so happy and I miss them so much and I'm like almost about to cry right now because I really do miss them but Oh my god, I didn't think I was going to cry, but I just was in a really dark place and hopefully one day we'll be really good friends again and I know I've messed up last year a lot with my friendships and I do blame myself a lot because I know that I could have been a better friend and they didn't know what was going on in my life. They had no idea what was going on and I didn't want them to know because I didn't want them to like pity me because I hate pity and I don't know but when that happened when I got into a huge fight with them I thought that I totally screwed up I thought that I like I was heartbroken like I've never had a boyfriend before but I knew that I was heartbroken with this because I wanted to die I this was the last straw like I had lost so many friends in the past and since I was losing these people, I was like, what is going on? Like, why am I such a bad person? And this was the end. I was like, I can't do this anymore. Like, I can't be alone any longer. And, oh my god, pull it together! Ugh. But, you know, I just, I hated everything that was going on. And I didn't want to explain anything to them because it was making me a lot worse than I had ever imagined. And... I needed, even though I know that I'm super strong, I knew that I would never do anything to hurt myself, like, physically. I knew that I would never really, like, go out there and end my life because I am very strong and, you know, I've made it this far and I know that I can make it even farther and live my life and live my dreams and, you know, do everything that I know that I can because I know that I'm worth it. But at that point, I was just like, screw my life. I hate it. So I needed something like to make me happy, make me feel like I could do it, like keep going on because this was just one of the worst parts of my life. I didn't think this would ever happen, you know, these were my best friends and I missed them and I didn't want anything wrong to go wrong. Like, so I just kind of apologized for everything even though I didn't explain what was going on, but anyways, I needed something to be happy and I was starting to gain weight again. So I was like, you know what, if people aren't happy with me I need to become happy with myself so I started taking laxatives and a lot of you guys know that I did get really skinny and I didn't even film half of the video like film a lot of videos when I was at my skinniest because I didn't want people to really see what was I didn't really want people to see what was going on so I didn't film that much but I did lose a lot of weight I was also taking medication that was making me not very hungry and I was up on a very high dose and I was just I wanted myself to be happy and so I thought you know I've been so insecure about my body for so long that I'm gonna become skinny oh yeah and um, that's another reason why I got addicted to Red Bull because Red Bull was a way that helped my metabolism and helped me like kind of go to the bathroom a lot like pee and I was losing a lot of weight and I did become addicted to Red Bull and that's not why I drink Red Bull now, it's just because I am addicted, but 
all these things I just really wanted I thought that being skinny was gonna help me become happy with myself so that's what happened and by the end of the summer I started getting heart problems and I wasn't telling anyone I started getting really bad chest pains and everything and I ended up you know I wasn't planning on going to a college I was planning on doing online and moving to California like I had been telling everyone on YouTube for years like I'm finally gonna move to California but since I had lost these friends like I'm I'm still friends with them now like I still love them to death but I'm like it's there's no lie that I'm not as close to them and they know it and I know it I'm not as close to them as I was and hopefully one day we can become really close again but as for that, I needed to do something for myself. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to go off to college. And, you know, I, I've always wanted to do, like, singing and music and stuff. But, you know, I needed a distraction. So even though I was going back and forth from going to college, doing online college, and moving to California, I thought college was probably the better way to go. So I ended up um, going to college with one of my old best friends from high school. And we ended up rooming together. And she knew that there was something off with me, you know, like... My heart was really bothering me and we talked and stuff and I told her about everything that was going on and she really helped me like really believe in myself and you know like as I've been saying like everything happens for a reason and I believe that there was a reason why I was supposed to go off to college. I was supposed to get back together with one of my best friends and she was going to teach me to stand up for myself and really believe in myself and you know what she did? And she really, really did change me. When I went to college, I had so much fun. I found myself again. You know, I don't party, I don't really drink, I don't do all that stuff, but me and my friend were just, we were just laughing and doing all these funny things, running through the halls, you know, just, we were just together. We didn't really go out of the campus, like we went to class, but we stayed up all night, like 24 hours and then went off to class and we're just like, woo, like we didn't really care. and. We had so much fun and, you know, she sat down and she talked to me and I would tell her about everything that was going on and she's like, Danny, you're not going to be happy unless you actually stand up for yourself. Stop apologizing to everyone and just speak up and stand up for yourself. And I was like, you know what, dude, like, I need to do that. Like, I've never done that before. So that's when I came back. I had chest problems and... You know, we all we all decided that I need to stop drinking Red Bull, I need to stop taking my medication that I was taking, I need to stop taking my laxatives, I need to stop doing all this, and I just need to be healthy. And so, that's what I did. I came home, and we went, and I got my heart checked, and my heart was fine. It was just, like, I was just going crazy on everything, and my body just couldn't take it. But anyways, I ended up coming back from college. I totally found myself again. Thanks to my old best friend and my little roomie. I just love her so much, you know. She helped me find myself. And I felt like that was a sign where I needed to go off to college to find myself again because I was so unhappy. And I totally found myself. And that was like one of my first steps into becoming happy. And so I ended up getting treated for depression. And that has helped me so much. And, you know, that was a really good thing. And... You know, throughout the summer, that was really difficult, you know. I had bought two dogs, and one dog ended up passing away, Jaxie's brother, Aston, and I ended up going to college the next day after he died, and that was really hard on me. I was having really bad anxiety, and, you know, my grandma had cancer, and everything was just going downhill in college, even though I was really sad about my dog, and that I never had lost a dog before and I know that might be something that you guys think is like oh like really but you know so many things were just like everything in 2013 was just like bad 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 after the other and I was just like when are things gonna get better and you know even though college was a good place for me to kind of find myself things were still bad because of my heart and so I was like oh my gosh like when are things gonna ever get better so I ended up coming back home and I needed to figure out a plan because I didn't want to stay home I didn't want to stay home and kind of just be alone again, you know. And so I ended up making a plan where I was going to focus on my music and do singing lessons and do all these things and I was planning on moving into my own apartment. And if you guys know, if you guys know about like my living situation, if you follow me on my first channel, you may know that I had my own studio apartment 
like there's only two bedrooms where I live and there's no really three bedrooms anywhere so I had a studio apartment that was right next door but it was just a place where I was able to film my videos and not have any distractions and you know it was actually like I ended up like wanting to have my own one bedroom and I was going to end up paying for that so as the time came of changing my lease um, to move into a bigger space so I could really focus on music so I wasn't going to get in trouble by my neighbors and stuff because I really wanted to focus on music. So we were ending up, um, like, switching leases and my mom's boyfriend, ex-boyfriend now, I think, I don't even know, um, he ended up stealing my studio apartment and moving out and so now he screwed that whole thing up and that was just the breaking point for me I was like are you kidding me like my whole plan was like to move to California and then I ended up not moving to California so I could have my own apartment and focus on music there in my one bedroom and I was gonna pay for that and that ended up falling out because my mom's stupid boyfriend stole my studio apartment so we ended up having to move and so now it's me in my mom's old room my mom out in the living room and my brother but you know that was just like another thing that I couldn't handle like when are things going to get better? You know, I thought things were going to get better. And, you know, I was treating my depression. But there was a time where I wanted to end it again. I was just like, this, my whole life, like, God is, like, punishing me. Like, what have I done? Like, why is everything coming to, like, an end? And everything was just, like, it was like a domino thing. Like, snowball effects, dominoes, don't really know. Everything was just going falling. And I was just, I was sick of it. And, again, YouTube was still one of those places where I could just talk about it, you know? Once I came back from college, I was just ready to just talk and just share everything with you guys. Because I had held everything in for so long and I was just like, dude, I can't do that anymore. So I ended up talking a lot to you guys and you guys really ended up helping me really stay strong throughout everything. And I actually have something. This was one of the main things that actually ended up really saving me. It's actually a journal entry. And this is going to be extremely personal. If you guys have seen my How I Battle Depression video, you may know that I write into a journal to God every single night. And I've started doing it since the first day that I had depression. It was just a way for me to kind of talk to myself and be there for myself and kind of have a shoulder to cry on. And that was God pretty much. And you know, he's helped me so much through along the way. He's made me so strong and this is something, this was like a miracle that ever happened to me. This was one of the main things that completely saved my life that I was struggling for so long and I just, at that point I just wanted to end it. So I'm going to read you guys this journal entry and it's going to be, this is just, this is insane. Like God works in mysterious ways and I can't thank him enough. And yeah, so basically this was on October 1st, 2013. I said, dear God. Nothing is working out for me. The apartment I was supposed to move into is not getting, I'm not getting anymore because my mom's boyfriend is a jerk. How am I going to work on singing now? I know I am good enough to become something huge one day. It's so hard for me to sing in the studio and now I don't even have that. I might be homeless. I'm supposed to be in California. I just don't know. This whole year has been a disaster. What do you want from me? What is your plan for me? Things would be so much less stressful if I knew things will get better. I mean, I know things will get better, but when? I, I'm just really unhappy right now. I am so alone. I can't really see the light because everything I do seems to get worse. Please help me see the light. When will things go up? Amen. Danielle Noe. And then I put, I have faith. So, you know, that was just one of the many journal entries of something, but the miracle that happened, the next journal entry I had, like in this journal entry I had asked, I needed to see a light, I needed something to get better. And the next entry, this is just insane and I'm going to explain in a second. So I didn't write for a while, so on October 14th, there's a little sticky note. I go, dear God, Justin Bieber just followed me on Twitter, OMG, my life is complete, I have been with him from the start, and I will continue to follow and support him till the very end. One day I will meet him and that, and thank him for everything he has done. 
He is the reason why I started believing in myself and following my dreams. One day I hope to become friends with Justin Bieber. I just love him so much. And I'm overly happy right now that he followed me. I can't even think about what to say right now. I think I deserve a Red Bull. But I won't because it's midnight. I am just so proud of Justin for everything he has done. And I can't wait to hear music and see his movie. Oh, this feels like Christmas. Love you, Biebs. Amen. So this is just really funny because... If you guys are aware of the whole Justin Bieber incident, it was like a miracle. I didn't tweet him or anything, I didn't say anything, and I was just really in a bad place, so unhappy. And then all of a sudden I check my phone and Justin Bieber is following me and I thought it was a sick joke. I thought it was a joke. I was like, what is going on? Like how is this like even happening right now? And you know, you guys might be like, oh my gosh, Danny, like Justin Bieber followed you on Twitter and you're like saying that that saved your life and you know that actually really did save my whole life. I was really at the point where I was just done and I asked God for a light and something to, for something to go up and Justin Bieber followed me and that wasn't the end of that. Anytime I got really depressed again after that, whenever I was really, really low, Justin Bieber ended up noticing me again. He retweeted me twice. He even replied to me. And it was just at that time, like, any time I was just feeling sick and tired of something, Justin Bieber, like, would do something. And, you know, Justin Bieber has no idea who I am. He has no idea, like, what he was doing to me. He was the main reason why I started believing in myself and then he started doing all these things. And so it was kind of a sign from God, like, any time I was just, like, really depressed, he would be like, Danny, like, get your act together. Like, Justin Bieber was kind of that, like, push. Like, you know, you need to stay strong. And that was just one of the most amazing things. And, you know, after that, I became so happy. I felt complete again. Like, he was kind of the part where I was so broken. He kind of, like, taped me together and put me back together where I really needed to be. And I am just so thankful for him. And... He wasn't even, like, he wasn't just the whole part that totally saved my life last year, you know, you guys were. But anytime I would say something on Twitter that was kind of depressing and sad, you guys would always be there for me. And especially in the last part of the year, because you guys were talking about to me all the time on Twitter saying, get a P.O. box and, you know, your letters have totally helped me. And, like, I don't know what I, if I would even be here without you guys, like, just pushing me to believe in myself, you know? I didn't believe in myself, and you guys were the, one of the main reasons that really helped me believe in myself. Way back from the start, when I started YouTube videos sophomore year, like, you guys have always just been there and supported me, and I just really want to thank you guys, and, you know, you guys have made me so much stronger, and I can't wait to live a long life and just inspire people and help save you guys like you guys have saved me, because I feel like I owe you guys everything, and I just want to say thank you and I want to thank God and I want to thank Justin Bieber and I want to thank you guys and I just want to thank my family and everyone for just kind of just sticking with me you know I know I've been so like such a mean person at times and you know I just never really knew how to explain how I was feeling. This is an extremely long video but I'm now done. And I just, that felt so good, like just getting everything out and I just love you guys and I just want to hug all of you guys and one day I hope I can meet all of you and just, I don't even know, I just hope that one day I can make everyone proud and just know that I'll always be here for you guys, you know, you guys have always been there for me so I will never leave you guys and hopefully one day, like, I hope that one day I can inspire people the way that Justin Bieber has inspired me. I just want to thank you guys and... I felt like this was a long awaited video for me to film just to get off my chest and for everyone to know that you guys are not alone like everyone struggles with things whether they're minor or whether they're like huge you know you're not alone and I've been there I've I obviously you guys know after this video but I just wanted to say that I love you guys and I just thank you guys so much you guys have saved my life I may not have been if I never found YouTube if I never would have, like, started YouTube videos, I may not be here right now, sitting on my bed filming this video. But I am because of you guys, 
and because of Justin Bieber and because of God and because of everyone that has been supporting me and yeah so I'm gonna end this video now I just wanted to say I love you guys so much and thank you for always being there for me and yeah I'll talk to you guys next time bye